Brennis, it's almost like a scene from an apocalyptic movie. Caravans of motorcycle riders or riders of off-road vehicles speeding down city streets on an almost nightly basis, blasting loud music, performing tricks, and causing havoc. Residents in and around downtown neighborhoods describe a noisy problem that has been festering for a year and one that seemed to hit a fever pitch over the weekend. But are law enforcement officials listening? Lollapalooza wasn't the only event that raised the decibel levels downtown this weekend. Caravans of motorcycle riders were all over the city, performing stunts and making screechingly loud noise. I've lived in the neighborhood for 20 years, and I've never heard the noise level uh, to this extent before. South Michigan Avenue resident Alan Ruffin says the problem has become almost a daily occurrence. He says he's witnessed drag racing, wheelies, and other stunts along Michigan and Roosevelt Roads. I'm on the 13th floor of my building, and it will drown out. Uh, it'll drown out my radio. It'll drown out my television. It's that loud. It begins in the 9 to 10 o'clock hour and goes on till 2 or 3 a.m. Uh, it used to be a little more isolated on just the weekends. Now, however, we're actually hearing this during the week as well. James Levine lives off of Wabash in the South Loop. He pointed us to skid marks in his intersection. Odds are, if you live anywhere in the city these days, you've seen them taking over the streets. The groups usually organize via social media and attract riders from the city, suburbs, and over the border in Indiana and Wisconsin. Here, cell phone video caught hordes of them traveling down the Eisenhower. DuSable Lakeshore Drive has also been a favorite destination, but the problem has matriculated into the neighborhoods. This was the scene last week at Halstead and Fullerton. This weekend, the intersection of Belmont and Sheffield is blocked off so a car can perform donuts. And Lower Wacker Drive has been a regular hotbed of activity. It sounds like you're being taken over by uh, some un foreign force or something. We, we, we've never, ever had anything like this, and apparently nothing is being done to stop it. Deborah Gershbein is the president of Streeterville Organization of Active Residents, or SOAR. She and other residents we spoke with all say law enforcement isn't stepping in. There are no consequences at this point, and until the city comes up with consequences for criminal activity, what's going to stop these people from repeating these actions? Second Ward Alderman Brian Hopkins says the caravans are lawless, but law enforcement's hands are tied. They're violating so many different parts of the vehicle code at any one moment. It isn't necessarily that we need more laws on the books. We need to be more effective at enforcing the laws we already have on the books. Hopkins says there are video and audio scanners that detect the activity, but it's hard for police to go after the riders because chases can turn deadly. He says city council might have to pass an ordinance to go after the body shops that soup up these vehicles. Almost every one of them has an illegally modified vehicle that is not street legal and shouldn't be driving on the public way. Like with homicides, police superintendent David Brown lays much of the blame on the court system, saying he believes there are too few consequences for offenders. We do what we can in citing and arresting them when appropriate, uh, but it, it is the uh, courts that don't, low level crimes are just not a thing of any significant consequence in our courts. The revolving door spins very quickly for traffic violations, if, if it moves at all. Little comfort to residents who say the problem is making their neighborhoods unlivable. Moving is definitely a consideration at this point, if nothing can be done to curb this. And we reached out to one of the larger groups on Facebook called Chicago United Riders, but we received no response. And that group regularly posts videos of their rides through the city and even promotes something that they call Taco Tuesday, which is a regular Tuesday night ride that they certainly look forward to. But downtown residents certainly do not, Brandis. <laughs> Taco Tuesdays is code for riding. So, right. uh, so we heard, you know, Alderman Brian Hopkins just say this, but Alderman say these riders are likely breaking multiple laws. What might some of them be? Well, first of all, there's a, there's a noise ordinance, so you can't go above a certain decibel level with your radios or boom boxes in the city. They're certainly violating that with, with, the, with the noise coming from their automobiles. And then this, the, these modified or removed mufflers, 
on the motorcycles and on these little three-wheel cars and four-wheel cars. Those are illegal uh, via state law and city law. And then, you know, there's video circulating uh, of a purported uh, event that happened this weekend where the motorcycle caught fire. The guy doing a wheelie, the thing caught fire, people were injured. So it's a public safety threat as well. Okay, Paris, thank you so much.